اهلا بيكم طالبات وطلاب جريد 1 بريب النهارده هقدم ليكم درس جديد في الماث تحت رعايه واشراف وزاره التربيه والتعليم ويلكم افري وان خليني افكركم درسنا ايه في الحلقات الماضيه اتكلمنا عن الراشنال نمبرز والديفينيشن بتاع الراشنال نمبر وان ات كان بي اكسبريسد از اي اوفر بي وان اي اند بي بوث ار تو انتجر نمبرز واتكلمنا كمان عن كومبيرنج راشنال نمبرز وبعد كده اتكلمنا عن ادينج راشنال نمبرز وعرفنا ان في تو كيسز سيم دينومينيتور و ديفرنت دينومينيتورز والنهارده ان شاء الله هنتكلم عن فقره جديده وهي سبتراكتنج راشنال نمبرز سو ليتس ستارت سبتراكتنج راشنال نمبرز If A and B are two rational numbers, then A minus B equals A plus negative B. بداية من النهاردة لأي subtraction we can write it as addition then negative. Subtraction integers. زي ما احنا عارفين ال integers فيها positive وفيها zero وفيها negative numbers. أول example معايا 8 minus 2 equals 8 plus negative 2. So, أنا كتبت negative as positive و negative. يبقى هنا ال operation كانت 8 minus 2 and it becomes plus negative 2. في الحالة دي أنا رجعته للـ addition وكان في عندنا two cases. Same sign, put it as it is و add or different sign, sign of bigger than subtract. As we can see, 8 is positive and 2 is negative. So the answer is sign of bigger, 8 is positive, and then subtract 8 minus 2 equals 6. And also we can do it mentally, 8 minus 2. Of course, grade 1 can do it. Then the second one is 2 minus 8. It cannot be done in grade 1 because we start with small number. But in grade 1 prep, we can do it. The answer here will be negative because we start with the small number. Okay, so we write it as 2 plus negative 8 and the sign of bigger which is 8 is negative then subtract so it becomes negative 6. The third one, negative 8 minus 2. Negative 8 as it is and the second one minus 2, I wrote it as plus negative 2. So here we have same sign, negative 8 and negative 2. Do you remember? Same, same add. So I'm going to put the same sign and then add 8 plus 2, which is 10. So the answer is negative 10. The fourth one, negative 8 minus negative 2. So here we have to focus in a new hint. When I have two negative signs or we have minus the negative we have to convert both of them to be plus or positive so I'm gonna write it as negative 8 plus 2 in this case we have different signs so as we said sign of bigger than subtract so the bigger number is 8 I'm gonna put the sign of it which is negative then subtract 8 minus 2 which is 6 so the correct answer is negative 6 now, خلينا نتكلم على more practice. Number one, 24 minus 3. No need to rewrite it with addition. We can do it mentally. 24 minus 3 is 21. The second one. Negative 13 minus 1. Both of them are negative. So, here we can write it as negative, then add them. So, it's, it will be negative 14. Same, same, add. Then number three, five minus seven. What do you observe here? اللي إحنا ملاحظينه هنا إن أنا بدأت ب smaller number. Five is less than seven. يبقى على طول ال answer لازم يبقى negative. وبعدين subtract five minus seven or seven minus five, which is two, and put it with negative sign, so it becomes negative two. The fourth one, negative sixty nine minus negative five. Do you remember our deal? When I have two negative signs, uh, عندنا هنا إشارتين. 
negative and negative. So I'm going to write it as positive. يبقى negative 69 plus 5. في الحالة دي عندنا different signs. Sign of bigger than subtract. The bigger number is 69. So I'm going to put its sign which is negative and then subtract 69 minus 5 which is 64. So the answer is negative 64. So here we have to focus on the sign before doing any operation. We have to put the sign first according to the same sign, same at, or different signs, sign of bigger than subtract. Then, let's watch this video from EKB. Our first case is how to subtract two rational numbers having the same denominator. If we have A over B and C over B belonging to Q, then the subtraction will be A over B minus C over B equals A minus C over B. Now look at the following example on the screen. If we want to subtract 7 over 9 minus 3 over 9, it equals 7 minus 3 over 9. So the final result is 4 over 9. Our second case is how to subtract two rational numbers, but with different denominators. If we have A over B and C over D belonging to Q, then the subtraction will be, by unifying the denominators, A times D minus C times B over B times D. For example, if we want to subtract 5 over 4 minus 1 over 5, we do the multiplication steps as we learned. And our result will be 21 over 20. زي ما شوفنا مع بعض هنا في الفيديو لقينا two different cases. Same denominator, we different denominators. Same denominator, put the denominator as it is and just add or subtract the numerators. In different denominators, we have to make them the same by converting one to the other or make cross multiplication. Now let's subtract fractions. The same two cases for adding fractions. Same denominator is the first one. Find the result of each of the following. Number one, 9 over 11 minus 6 over 11 equals 9 over 11 plus negative 6 over 11. This minus, we can do it mentally without rewriting it as plus negative. So which is 9 minus 6 equals 3 over 11. Here we have the same denominator. I put it as it is. The second one. Negative 2 over 5 minus 1 over 5. Also we have the same denominator so I'm going to put it as it is. But here I have same sign. Negative 2 and negative 1. Same, same add. So I'm going to put it as negative then add 2 and 1, which is 3. So the final answer is negative 3 over 5. That's all about the first part, which is same denominator. The second, subtract fractions, different denominators. In different denominators, we have two cases, like the addition exactly. Convert one to the other and cross multiplication, or we can say it as equivalent fraction or get the least common multiple. So here, A, convert one to the other, 3 over 7 minus 1 over 14. As you can see, 7, we can multiply it by a number to get 14. So I'm going to multiply it by 2. And here we have to multiply 3 times 2 also. So it becomes 6 over 14 plus negative 1 over 14. Here, different signs. So sign of bigger, then subtract. The 6 is the bigger number. I'm going to put its sign, which is positive, and then subtract 6 minus 1 is 5. So the answer is 5 over 14. The second case, cross multiplication. Let's have a look for the denominator now. My denominator is 5, and in the second one is 9. Same denominator, of course, no. 5 is not equal to 9. 
Can I convert one to the other? Can I multiply five by a number to be nine? Of course, no. So in this case, we have to make cross multiplication. Do you see the three lines? Okay, I'm gonna multiply nine times negative two, and then five times negative four, then five times nine. Nine times negative two is negative 18, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, and 5 times 9 is 45. Then here we have at the top, for the numerators, negative 18 minus 20. Same or different? Same or different signs? Here we have same signs. So put it as it is, same, same, add. Then add 18 plus 20, it becomes 38. Third, negative 38 over 45. And I wrote here a small hint for LCM, the least common multiple. 4, 5, and 9 is 45. Practice. We need to do th those practice on the board. So here we have 5 over 8 minus 1. I can rewrite 1 as what? And here, the second one, also we have one. So let's do them on the board. Practice one. Five over eight minus one. If I have a one for any problem, let me rewrite it as the denominator over itself. Here, the denominator is eight. But I have to write this one as eight over eight. يبقى أول حاجة بحط 5 over 8 as it is وبعدين ال1 هكتبه as 8 over 8 طيب ليه إيه و... ليه 8 over 8 عشان يبقى عندي same denominator وطبعا دي حالة سهلة وزي ما قلنا لو أنا بدأت ب small number ال answer it should be negative وهنا 5 minus 8 هعملها 8 minus 5 هتبقى 3 يبقى أنا عرفت الصين الأول بعد كده حطيت ال number بعدين over 8 as it is Second case. نفس الحكاية. أنا عندي one وعندي denominator is eight. So I'm gonna rewrite this one as eight over eight. طب سؤال. لو أنا عندي denominator هنا seven يبقى هكتبها as seven over seven. هنكمل هنا eight over eight. Same denominator. So put it as it is. And then eight minus five equals three. What do you observe? Here we have negative 3 over 8, and here we have 3 over 8. Completely different. Because here the negative is changing number at all. If I started with 1, the answer is 3 over 8, because the 1 is greater than 5 over 8. And here the 1 is the same greater, but I started with a small number, so the answer is negative. Let's see one more. If a equals half, B equals negative 7 over 4, and C equals 1 over 4. Find A plus B minus C. هنا لازم نبدأ بـ parentheses أو الـ brackets. الـ قوس بتاعي بدأ بـ A plus B minus C. So, instead of A, we are put, we are going to put half. Then, B is negative 7 over 4 minus c is 1 over 4. لازم نبدأ بالأقواس هنا. Which case do we have? Same denominator. أنا عندي 2 وعندي 4. طبعاً لا. طيب, convert to one to the other. Yes, we can convert this 2 to be 4 times 2 up and down. Both numerator and denominator. So 1 times 2, which is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, plus negative 7 over 4. And as you can see, we didn't do anything for this one, which is out. اللي برا ده ما عملناش له أي حاجة. إحنا بنشتغل بس على اللي جوا البراكتس. طيب هنا 2 plus negative 7. Different sign, so sign of bigger than subtract. 7 is the bigger number, and its sign is negative, so I'm going to write it as negative 5 over 4. I'm going to subtraction. 7 minus 2 is 5, and put the same denominator. 
minus 1 over 4. Here we have the same denominator, so put it as it is. And then negative 5 minus 1, same sign, so same, same, add. I'm going to put the same sign as it is, then 1 plus 5 is 6. وبكده هتكون negative 1 and 2 over 4. By dividing 6 divided by 4 is 1, remainder 2. With 2 over 4, I can rewrite it as half. So the final answer is negative 1 and half. That's all about this problem. Let's see another one. Subtraction mixed number. In subtraction mixed numbers, we have a whole number, then fraction beside it. As you can see, 7, 9 over 15, minus 1 and 4 over 15. Always we have to focus on the denominator. Here we have the same denominator and the, big, the first fraction is the bigger. Why? In this case, I need to subtract immediately. لو عندنا the first fraction greater than the second fraction, as you can see, 9 over 15 is greater than 4 over 15, so we can subtract immediately. No need to rename, no need to subtract anything, just subtract the whole, then subtract the numerators. So 7 minus 1, which is 6, and then 9 minus 4 is 5, and keep this 15 as it is. Another one, so it's 6 and 1 third. To simplify it, by the way, here we have 5 over 15. When I divide both of them by 5 up and down, we will get 6 and 1 over 3. The second one is 7, 2 over 5 minus 3, 1 over 5, 1 over 4. Do we have the same denominator? No. Can I convert one to the other? No. So I need to rename both. I need to rename each mixed number by multiplying 5 times 7 plus 2. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37 over 5 minus. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 4. My question. Same or convert or cross? They are not the same. I cannot convert one to the other by multiplying, so we need to make cross multiplication. Three lines. 1, 2, 3. 5 times 4 is 20. From its name, cross multiplication. So we have to multiply 5 times 4 and then multiply 4 times 37. 4 times 7 is 28, 2 up, and 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 40. And then 5 times 13. 5 times 3 is 15, 1 up. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 65. Here we have 20. And then 148 minus 65. 8 minus 5 is 3. And then 14 minus 6 is 8. Can I keep it that, like that? Yes, of course we can keep it. But the better to simplify it. Here we have the numerator is greater than the denominator, so we need to divide. 83, it has how many 20? Or 83 divided by 20 is 4, because 4 times 20 is 80, and the remainder from this 80 is 3, and put the denominator as it is. Always keep the denominator as it is. Here the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. The remainder write it, top, write it at the top for the numerator. Let's see another one. The final answer is 4 and 3 over 20. Remark. Here we have to focus on the properties for addition and multiplication. Do you remember the properties for addition? 
we have five properties. Now we are going to talk about the properties for subtraction. Here, the first one, Q is closed under subtraction operation. Okay, the result of subtracting any rational numbers is a rational number two. So when you subtract any two rational numbers, of course you will get a rational numbers. Like the addition, when we add any sub, when we add any rational numbers, also we get a rational number. The second one, the subtraction operation in Q is not commutative and not associative. Not commutative means what? Commutative means switch the order. A plus B equals to B plus A. In subtraction, we cannot do that. We cannot switch the order. Let me give you any two numbers. 5 minus 3 equals 2. But 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. They are not equal. Then, not associative. Associative means three numbers. A plus B plus C. And put brackets for the first two numbers equals a plus b plus c and put brackets for the last two numbers. We are talking about associative. We can do it in addition. But in subtraction we cannot do the same. So in subtraction we have to respect the position of the brackets. We have to start from the brackets. So is not associative. Here we have the there is no identity element with respect to subtraction in Q. It was zero in addition. A plus zero equals zero plus A, which is A. But in subtraction, let me give you one plus or minus zero. Is it equal to zero minus one? Of course, no. They are not equal. No. Why? Because one minus zero is one. And here, zero minus one is negative one. They are not equal. So in subtraction, we cannot apply the properties. In addition only, we can apply all the properties. That's all about our lesson. Let me make a brief summary for you. Today we have talked about subtracting rational numbers and how they are related to addition. Okay? We have the same rules, same denominator or different denominators. In different denominators, we have two cases, convert one to the other or cross multiplication. Then we have mixed numbers. Sometimes we need or we must rename each mixed number, then start to subtract and ask yourself which case do we have, same or different denominator. Then we have talked about properties. Here we have only the closed is applied, but the commutative and the associative, we cannot apply them in subtraction and the, identi the, uh, and the identity element also. That's all. Thank you so much. I hope you got the lesson well and let me see you next time. Bye-bye.